Yeah, this deck feels a bit like cheating. It's got Stature and She-Hulk and Titania, all of which can become these one-cost threats. And then when you've got Moon Girl, you can copy all of those and then just dump a bunch of power in the final turn across all of those. And then when you add something like Shuri into the mix, things get pretty scary and it can be really really hard for the opponent to predict exactly how and where your power is going to be developed and this time around my opponent was nina is noob you guys may recognize her from youtube and, and twitch and at twitter she's become a really uh, prominent voice in the marvel snap community and we wanted to do a little bit of a friendly battle so I perhaps unfairly brought this uh, stature Shuri deck into our friendly battle, but we're also going to switch it up to a move deck for round two of this one. So we got two awesome friendly battles for you in this one. Some great banter and a little bit of accidental back and forth here between Nina. So enjoy uh, these crazy games and uh, perhaps a little bit of my cheating. So, you know, he's gonna play something that's not tier one, like not Shuri Red Skull, but maybe something that's, uh, you know, a, feel, a deck that feels good, feels viable, but not, you know, Thanos or Red Skull basically was kind of my my threshold. I'm not showing you the deck. I don't know what, I don't even know what deck I'm gonna play yet. You know, just something that's good, but interesting, if that makes sense, if that's fair. Not playing Shuri Thanos, okay, got it, That that's good. I just didn't want one of us to have a, like an OP strong deck and the other one not, but you know, we don't have to, we don't have to hone in any further than that. That sounds good. Okay, I'll send you a code in, um, in Discord. Okay, good luck us. I hope she doesn't consider Moon Girl too, too Moon Girl She-Hulk as too good of a deck. Oh God, Shuri's in this deck. <laughs> oh no, I'm a scumbag. I broke the rules. Oh no, I just, oh shoot. I, oh, I'm a scumbag. Oh man, not Iceman. That's so annoying. <laughs> I'm a scumbag. I forgot this deck had Shuri in it. Oh, but it's not normal Red Skull. Oh God, <laughs> I tricked her. <laughs> oh no, she's gonna be so bad. Oh shoot, she won't actually, but she should be. Well, we agreed not to play Shuri, and he's got Shuri in this deck. Oh no. <laughs> she she just gave me a kek. All right, it's it should be fine. It's not it's not crazy. It's not a crazy Shuri. I'm a little bit scared. We have Wave and She-Hulk, so I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna emote like uh, uh I don't know, emote seems <laughs> emote seems rude. Um it's it's got Shuri She-Hulk in it. Um I don't know, I feel kinda bad. <laughs> I'm scum bad. Oh no, I forgot it had Shuri. I was thinking it was just Moon Girl She-Hulk. Um I, f I forgot. Oh, I'm gonna feel bad the whole time. We're gonna play multiple rounds anyway, hopefully, so. Sunspot gone, okay. Oh, wave. Um, Wave on four. Will Regis realize it's not turn four in time? <laughs> dude, she, dude, if I play She-Hulk and Shuri, she's gonna be so mad. Oh, I feel bad. I think, <laughs> I think, I think I'm a jerk. Oh, no. Oh, I feel really bad. Oh, shoot. I think I screwed it. Um, uh, we just really care about the stature here on the final turn, I think, right? So. No, he will not. He's an idiot. Oh, yeah, true. She saw the She-Hulk. Yeah. Okay, is that my She-Hulk? No, she has She-Hulk too. Okay. That makes me feel a little bit better. I actually feel a little bit better about her having She-Hulk as well. Okay, she's got Arrow too, so this is fine. Her deck is definitely not like a, a, a lower meme status. Am I insane that... Okay, I, I'm gonna be straight with you. I thought I had an entire another turn. Oh... That was a little bit scary. I got I got distracted by the the guilt 
<laughs> I thought I had an entire another turn. Uh, <laughs> okay, so that's fair. We gave her some. We gave her a head start. This is a. This is an absolute travesty of a game so far. I have to concentrate now. I actually have to concentrate now. I was memeing too hard. I didn't mean to. <laughs> I, I thought I had a whole nother turn, but I played Black Bolt on five, so obviously I, I did not have a whole nother turn. Um, okay. <laughs> She's probably like, what the heck is he doing? <laughs> that was a weird decision. Moon Girl on, on, uh... Moon Girl on six is a weird play. <laughs> oh man. Iceman again. I hate Iceman. Right, Daredevil 2. Okay, she's got a good deck. I've, I'm feeling less and less guilty about this as we go. Moon Girl on 4 is awesome. Okay, we have Wave. Do we want to wait until She-Hulk, you think? I bet the uh, I bet he has She-Hulk in his deck as well. Then we got She-Hulk Titania. Okay, yeah. Skip turn five, She-Hulk. She-Hulk Titania right now. I guess we won't actually be able to play the stature in this case because on five, we're not drawing a card. So there's no Black Bolt anyway. So um, yeah, we'll just go double She-Hulk Titania. That's fine. White Queen, okay. She's gonna see, does this, does this actually yeah, this one's six. It, it wasn't discounted yet. So yeah, she'll see the She-Hulk again. I'm guessing he's just gonna skip. If he skips... Wait, if he skips, I can't really play double She-Hulk. Uh, I can't play Wave, because then... His She-Hulks his she -Hulks are gonna cost zero. And if she's really heads up, she'd actually know that the She-Hulk here is copied because... She would know the other one was discounted off the sunspot turn. I would never notice that, but it's possible to notice if she's super heads up. I don't think I'd be that smart. I'm only seeing it because I can literally see my hand. <laughs> that would be incredibly impressive. So, I mean, currently, you know, we're very ahead left, it looks like. I mean, it depends a little bit on this Daredevil. And if she has a Professor X in particular, this could be spicy. We didn't see a Professor X last time. We do also need to be mindful of Arrow next turn, so we'd certainly want to finish on a Titania. I mean, that's a pretty normal line for us anyway, but still important. You'll note, too, I played Moon Girl right in this case so that we don't gain priority back, hopefully. Or, no, pretty much impossible. Um, so that the Titanias are less of a risk. We want to make sure that the, t the Titanias don't do anything crazy here. Okay. Way behind on priority now. Uh, now she skipped three energy. We did see a She-Hulk for her previously, so she could have a three cost She-Hulk. Arrow doesn't do much because he can play two She-Hulks and probably something else, right? Four drop or something. Just doesn't, doesn't really seem that, that powerful, right? I think there's a chance she might arrow here. I don't know, man. Let's just put the Sentinel here, I guess. <sighs> yeah, this looks good. I mean, this is, if anything, maybe an overcommitment here, but we're also adding 14 here, so this also looks pretty good. It's gonna play a She-Hulk here, so I'm gonna lose here. I'm probably here, I'm guessing. Oh, man. I don't think I can do it. Dude, I totally screwed up game one. <laughs> like, I'm gonna feel bad putting that in the video now, but that's my own, my own shame. Thankfully, we might win this without a Shuri, which feels nice. I still feel like our deck is packing a little more punch than hers, though, so I feel kind of bad. I don't think I can do it. Escaped. Two She-Hulks plus a bunch of other cards he can play. True, she could have double She-Hulk. That's a good point. Yeah, since she did grab ours. Yeah, but she only skipped... Oh, but yeah, it would be just the two She-Hulks. Yeah, it wouldn't be anything else, which the Titania thankfully nets a, enough advantage here since we're down four that that we beat a like She-Hulk, She-Hulk kind of thing, even here. And then you still have Sentinel too. Okay. Good retreat from her, honestly. We were packing a ton of power. That was, that was a heads-up retreat. Uh... Okay. This I didn't make this deck by the way. We gra I grabbed this off untapped. It just had crazy numbers. I um 
I, it does make me a little bit nervous how stature is only activated by black bolt but uh i think the power spike potential is so high off of it what it is that you're still just happy to do it a teeny at, at two is a little bit rougher i think Shuri maximus is actually legit here though now it's annoying because he can um i have shang chi he doesn't know i have shang chi maybe i'll put it here <laughs> i literally wrote in discord i'm a scumbag i forgot this deck had shuri in it i even feel bad snapping on shuri's like oh cosmo dang that was close i dodged a bullet there uh do we hold into five for the black bolt shuri not really maximus is bigger anyway we can just play him into that cosmo now and then we have black bolts on five stature plus whatever on six yeah this is pretty legit shang chi is fine it's scary but we're gonna have uh better targets later perhaps too well i guess that's not actually true necessarily anymore is he gonna play black bolt or no probably not i don't think he will play black bolt until this game feels weird to go back at left she's got such an enormous advantage there but we can shang chi it back later and then just the zabu's there but let's make it think you know like she hasn't seen our shang chi yet right I don't think we've played Shang-Chi, so this may come as a surprise. So we can use this as a big swing this next... And I'm actually going to snap here, I think. Because Shang-Chi is going to be a surprise. Let's snap. I don't want to snap on Shuri like a jerk, but I'll snap on a Shang-Chi. That's fine. Okay, let me think about this. I don't do anything. All right. Oh man, this is annoying because I didn't think he would play it. Okay, she played through the snap. Sunspot gets big, but not big enough. Maybe this does mean she has She Hulk arrow potential. So we probably want to finish on. Let's see. She's well, arrow is maybe not great because she's behind in two spots. We're revealing first, so Titania is actually probably a risk. I'd say let's let's Iceman instead for the arrow. I mean, this is a big turn. Do we think he has Shang Chi in this deck? That's the thing. <sighs> I feel like just this, honestly. Oh man, that's really annoying. Oh, I should have put my thing there. Oh, that's so annoying, man. Sake. don't play moon girl on the final turn dang it dude wouldn't be terrible four power is not bad for three it's a cyclops man that's a cyclops dude uh i can't wait to see she's recording her side of this i can't wait to see her reaction to me playing just a moon girl on the final turn yeah see that's gonna be the surprise shang chi here that nets a lot of cubes that's gonna be harder to gain value later <gasps> oh, spider was big, but we should be fine elsewhere. Yeah. I don't think she expected the Shang-Chi flip. That's what we were talking about, right? How the Shang-Chi felt... She, she probably felt very safe left because we hadn't showed the Shang-Chi yet, which is really important in battle mode, like keeping back a threat or like a response card. Yeah. He hit that Shang-Chi really well. Well, now we know. If it's not going to pull you a lot of cubes early, sometimes it's even worth maybe sacrificing a little bit. I still... Have I even managed to draw my Doctor Doom? I don't think I have. Where is my Doctor Doom? It's in the deck, but I haven't drawn him. Oh, there he is. I feel like I, I feel like I can't... I'm so sorry about the Shuri still. I, we're going to play more. She's going to get a chance to yell at me too in, in Discord, so... Hopefully, hopefully the, the tides. I hope she wants to play more. I didn't actually ask, but I hope she does. I'm gonna feel really bad if this is the only only battle we play, and I accidentally shuried her. Oh, well, well, that's kind of useless now, isn't it? I just find it just when the location works in your favor, another location just screws you up. Shuri again, bro. We can even Shuri Quantum Tunnel, which is so gross. <laughs> now, we can't contest Sanctum Sanctorum, but she can through Mr. Fantastic. So if she's able to get a Mr. Fantastic out of the Quantum Tunnel, 
that could be a big deal for her the problem is it's gonna be hard to unless it's just in the deck and she grabs it right yeah see it was already in hand she could have tried to put it in quantum tunnel and pull it back out later but that's just such a challenging task i, I don't think that would be oh we've also got strange academy too though so maybe we can all just contest sanctum sanctorum via this instead i think that's also reasonable try to get a little bit lucky there Unfortunately, it looks to me like we're playing kind of a Shuri She-Hulk final turn. <coughs> Which isn't great. I don't know, maybe we'll hit Black Bolt off this and I'll be super happy too. Uh, okay, that's gonna read Stature to her instead of... Uh... Oh, dang. Cards everywhere, man. Jeez. Problem for me is I don't know whether he's going to play his Black Bolt or whether he's going to play his stature and whether he's going to play black bolt and stature or she hulk you know with the sunspot it tells me more towards she hulk so wave might not be so good for me but he has stature in his hand so maybe that's what he's going for let's just see the problem with me skipping a turn here is that i'm just so unlikely for strange academy to roll into sanctum which is what i need if i want to try to win i think in other words, like, I, I feel like I need to play the stature here now to give me a second roll into Sanctum Sanctorum and, like, maybe hit 14 there to win that. It's just really clunky. Like, we don't even have a good final turn here either. There's nothing great in the deck except Black Bolt if I wanted to play for Quantum Tunnel, like Dumpa Zabu or whatever. I think this is worth it, though. Because otherwise we just never get a chance to play the Sanctum at all. Uh, the wave with no She-Hulk activation for us is tough. That's really, really good for her. Oh, that's good, too. Dang. Yeah, I think we lose. Okay. Okay, it's actually stature. I hope she goes middle so I can Shang-Chi her. Ah, uh, of course not. Of freaking course not. It depends on where this stuff rolls, I guess, a little bit. If she doesn't get anything left. Ah, it worked! We got the stature roll left. She actually got the good Mr. Fantastic roll too. Now this doesn't even lose to um, Warhead by seven. So even a Sunspot roll off there doesn't beat Sanctorum. So that's safe. So the question is now, can we win right? Because we, we saw her pass. So we know she's got a She-Hulk and probably an arrow as well, which she might just pull mid. She-Hulk will still cost four. They can only, he can only play one card, right? So let's just do this. Right? Pretty sure he can only play one card because he plays statue on five. Arrow here always pulls whatever singular threat I have. If, we, if we'd been able to play for the She-Hulk, we might have been better off. I don't know. What if he doesn't do anything? Then I'm screwed. Oh man, this is so hard. Oh, she hasn't finished her play yet. Oh man, maybe she didn't have the arrow. If he soaks... Oh, okay, he retreated. Oh my god, that was so scary. Ah! Okay. Yeah, I don't know. That, that The, the shield line actually might have worked. I forgot Arrow's going away if she plays it mid. Maybe she just plays it right too, though. But I don't have any way to add power if she plays it right. So it's not really relevant to me so much. Okay. I don't know. Either way. Stakes have been doubled. All right, high stakes. Let's go. Is this a tournament? No, just a friendly battle. Uh, played against Nina, as you'll see in the title. Uh, Nina and I, I've not really ever chatted much, I realize. Like, we've both been around Hearthstone for a while. Uh, but uh, we never really talked or been friends or anything. So it was cool to chat with her. With the discount here, double Shuri, we could play... Well, it just depends on what we hit and how cheap it is. But like Shuri Titania on the final turn can sometimes be pretty cool. Just wondering if a Moon Girl here is actually already worth it. We don't have a She-Hulk, but we do have a Stature. So if you hit a Black Bolt, I think you're really happy. Shuri Stature also insane later. So play one Shuri on four, and then you could play one Shuri on six potentially as well, even with a Stature. So yeah, I think this is right. Not only, did, not only did I run Shuri, I ran two Shuri's. <laughs> what an actual jerk. Oh, nice. No moon girl. 
Oh, that Cosmo timing is really good there. Of course, she didn't want to play it mid because she might risk losing it in Hala. But that is actually pretty brutal for me. Now I'm I'm actually scared she's going to commit to Hala. Dang. Cosmo sucked, man. I can't even add small stuff to Nita Valir too, which I wanted. That's a really, really brainy Cosmo. Perfect positioning for it for me. I guess I could have played the Moon Girl here, but I wanted to be going toe to toe with Nita Valir with small stuff. Thankfully, I mean, late we can still, hopefully, but I need to hit Black Bolt. Uh, yeah, I'm scared. I'm scared I'm going to lose Hala. She has like White Queen that just beats this one to one. She decided not to risk it though, because I would only have to add three power, which is pretty sensible. She needs the White Queen power, to be honest. Now she got the stature in hand. Oh, what a hit! That's a freaking hit right there. Okay. Yeah, this will lock us up left and beat her white queen one to one. She passes here, sunspot gets really big, but we might just give Nita Valir at this stage. I can just dump mid and left and probably be way ahead, right? Yeah, okay. What a lucky draw, dude. I don't know. Oh my God. You think he has... Okay. <laughs> no, she emoted the Deadpool face. Uh oh. I feel so bad about the Shuri though, dude. She's gonna yell at me. So, oh, Arrow's okay though. Arrow's okay. It's the same difference. Like we just wanted to be ahead with the Black Bolt against some meaningful power of hers, and that is certainly uh, some some meaningful power. So that's fine. So she didn't. So Spider Woman's probably her most likely power dump here, and that is currently worth eleven. I can Shang-Chi him, but I think he might beat me because he has stature and something else, right? Oh, we did see her play a Shang-Chi though. How much is that? 11? Can I beat 11 here? No, I can only go to 9. Yeah, I think we're actually better off doing this. So that's 8 and uh, 10 is 18. I mean, this is fine in case she plays something small here. This is enough to flip. I'm worried if she goes Shang-Chi. She can't go Shang-Chi and She-Hulk though. If we lose, we lose. It's fine. I'm happy losing to Regis. Oh god, Titania. Oh god. Uh, whoopsie. I think this is fine. Did she play right? She didn't. She went both mid. Oh, just the Daredevil. Okay. Yeah, this is fine. Narrowly dodged a bullet with Titania. Okay. Didn't need it, actually, yeah. As, as I said. I mean, did I really need to play this? 24. Yeah, if she played if she played the Daredevil here, I did need it, actually. Yeah, this was right. Because she could have put Daredevil here. wonder if she thought I wasn't going there. Oh, man. I knew I should have put it on the right. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's that Titania. <laughs> oh my god, I'm such a jerk. <laughs> I, I, I wrote, oh my god, I'm such a jerk. I did I really didn't mean to Shuri. Can we play more? <laughs> I wrote, I'm such a jerk, dude. Oh, I'm such a jerk. Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe we'll do move because it's kind of bad, but then still interesting, right? Like can still be spicy. Only problem with move in, in battle mode is um, like you, you, you obviously get a read on the Heimdall pretty, pretty quickly. So that's uh, that's a risk. Uh, I'll play a different deck this time. How about this one? Okay. Multiple man's good early, but Raptors left create some potential hiccups for us because it's just oh god oh no um are these multiple men even good here like if I go like cloak left multiple men I mean to what end is that useful right I'm only gonna get seven power there feels bad I I'm wondering if I just play for like higher power output and maybe even like move a Raptor over here just to get some more spread on my stats and open up Heimdall a little bit more. I mean, we can move, we can win with Plunder Castle with Heimdall pretty easily. 
Um, but it's actually going to be overkill, probably. I might want to hide to the left, weirdly. I don't know, man. I I'm just scared to clog up any spot with the multiple men, basically. I just think three power per position there is too low. This is a Galactus deck. Okay, I guess we're not... <laughs> I guess we're not moving. I mean, we could though. We actually could uh, just to clear some space. But now with the iron heart, I don't even think we need to necessarily, right? I think these are actually okay as is. We'll just leave them there. Iron heart makes this a little more interesting. So then we'll have three power per position in each spot so far. That's fine. That's not too locked in. Fisk Tower, a little risky for Captain Marvel, so we'll probably want to play her in Fisk Tower because otherwise it limits her ability to move a little bit. But she alone can also just win Plunder Castle for the record. Oh, she's wiping her raptors out. Uh, maybe she's going to eat them or something? I don't know how this works. Oh, storming for them. Oh, that's cool. Okay. This actually might make my life a little weird because we are going to have a hard time contesting this the way this is working out currently. Maybe what we do, though, is multiple man and Captain Marvel can put nine here. So we'll Captain Marvel left on five and then Heimdall left on six. Then we'll have multiple man, cloak and Craven mid to win mid. And then Heimdall plus Raptors to contest left. And then Marvel can move wherever, right? Just right, probably. Maybe she stays left. I don't know. I think this looks okay, though. Now we do this, and then this Professor X on the left. Does Craven need to be first? I don't know how he works with this stuff still. I gotta pay attention to how Craven works. I think it's okay. Oh, she goes a Tuma left. Interesting. Okay. A move deck? Yeah, Captain Marvel on five looks good. I actually think this is kind of snap worthy because I have a feeling she's just not going to contest Plunder Castle that well. And then Captain Marvel just, I don't know, just kind of gives us a freebie to move right. Oh, okay, she's out. Dang, didn't think she'd be out just yet. Maybe she thinks I have a strong chi or something. A move deck. No, 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 no. No, this is not good for me. <laughs> Definitely not. Okay, that makes me sad. Probably just the location sucked for her, so she's like, I'm out, bro. <laughs> I'm not dealing with this garbage today, I'll tell you that. Um, okay, so we'll move um, Human Torch left, and then cloak him back out somewhere. Who knows where, but he's going to get big. So we only saw Storm and Atuma from her so far. Feels like a Storm Atuma deck to me. <laughs> You know, one of those classic Storm Matuma decks, you know? All right, this is a fine Ironheart as well. This location is pretty good for move deck, honestly. I don't think Morag makes too much of a difference for us. <laughs> it doesn't know, he just doesn't look like a... Um, Ironheart is actually technically a little better earlier on the human torch um because you get more scaling on it but i have a really good miles in a cloak turn here uh then human torch goes to eight. Oh, miniaturized lab's a little awkward for us though isn't it um i just in other words i don't know if iron heart's really worth it is that two power early gonna change the scaling enough that i don't i mean i have a good curve anyway though I don't know, man. Like, this is a fine curve. Next turn, I can still miles. Um, I can miles first, and then I'd have to miles here, and then cloak here. It's kind of awkward with lab, though. Maybe this is fine. Iron, we're, we're you know, again, the Iron Hearts timing is weird, but kind of getting the power back anyway by having more units. So, hopefully, it's okay. Oh, dang! Oh my god, come on, man. Now we just do this, right? We don't even... I mean, we can, Miles. 
We are going to get in a scenario where it's hard to maybe make the human torch move on the final turn. Is she going to, if I snap, is she going to leave? She's going to leave anyway, so maybe we ought to snap on Bifrost here. I don't know. I'm going to have a 16 power human torch. This definitely could have a Killmonger in it, though, so I don't think this is a given. No. No. You're not doing that. You are not doing that. You are not bloody ass moving. No. No, 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 no. Killmonger is not crazy for a deck like this. Wind oh, Storm! Dang, okay. Hand. Shoot, I need a cheap card. Oh, crap. Oh, crap, I need a cheap card. Oh, no. Oh, no, I can't play anything. Oh, no, I'm an idiot. Oh, no. Doesn't matter if it's cheap. There's nowhere to play it. Oh, the Storm is clutch! No! Can Heimdall on six win? Or am I better off with, like, a Captain Marvel, I wonder? Ah, oh, crap, dude. Dang, dude, she locked me out. Beautiful play. Can she get big enough here? Blizzard's not very big. Titania's not very big either. But, but Sunspot can certainly outscale me. Dang, dude. She knows I don't have any other movers. Like, Cloak obviously is too late. I mean, I think she just like dumps in a Tuma, right? Just uh, literally right, a Tuma right, and then I lose. I can't beat in a Tuma right. I don't get big enough. I think I lose, man. Thank God we didn't snap. Oh, we trusted the Bifrost. Storm murdered me. It was beautiful. I don't believe there's infinite. Okay. <laughs> that was a little bit scary. But he's not giving away his cards. Like, I want to know what your cards are. I still don't know what four cards are. Well, I'm guessing one of them is um, Heimdall. Heimdall. But he could also have Magneto. Space Throne! Oh, these locations are so garbage for my move deck. No. I have no good options there. Heimdall or a big vulture maybe is like my best, best option there, I think. Atalan's a little weird for us as well, unfortunately. Um, boy. A human torch could be good there if I go like Ironheart on it and then I move it to eight and then move it to 16, right? That's pretty legit. She might storm that off again though too, or might storm Atalan off because she's more annoyed by that. Um, yeah, I, I don't know, man. This seems like a better start to me, but it's still kind of iffy. What is the deal with these locations? Uh, is, is the Ironheart really correct here? Do we just play the, the, tor the, the Strange instead? It's currently actually the same amount of buff and a little, little cleaner and better on average, I think, for us. I wonder where she storms, if anywhere. I think I have to storm this, honestly. Although, this is pretty bad for a move deck, so maybe I don't storm that. Maybe I storm this instead. I would put the Doctor Strange, well, I don't know, if I play Heimdall, it's gonna go there. I, I don't know, dude, <laughs> these locations are garbage. Is that Storm? I think she'd be smart to leave the Space Throne personally, because my deck requires so much uh, manipulation across locations and stuff, you know? I think she'd be better off leaving it, which she does indeed decide to do. Um, yeah, again, Cloak is utter garbage. If I, if I do, th dude, I'm only gonna be able to play Captain Marvel, and then... <laughs> I, I, I don't know, I mean, I just have to hope to be big enough here, and then I hope Captain Marvel wins Plunder Castle, I guess. We haven't seen her play a six yet, so I, I don't know. I'm basically gonna pass my turn six, I think. <laughs> this is crazy, dude. Yeah, if we can Heimdall right, that would be excellent. I don't know. If, I mean, we got to get him first, right? But it's not impossible. Okay, so we do have a pretty significant lead here this time. Oh, God, that's not good. Wait, maybe we can win with... Um... Oh, we can't. Not even with Claw. Let's just hope to hit Heimdall on six. But if not, I mean, Marvel can still technically contest this, I guess. So 
maybe it'll be okay. The sad news is I can't move her myself. You know, if she were a vision here, for instance, she'd just be a thousand times better because then I could vision and move him myself and still have more flexibility as far as plays are concerned. I mean, Heimdall would still probably be the best bet, but yeah, one instance here where vision would definitely be better. I wonder what her options are. Like, I think a Tuma left is, is a pretty reasonably good option if she has it in hand. But that's we've only seen six cards so far. We've seen these three, Zero, Sunspot, and a Tuma. The Zero certainly suggests maybe a non-Shuri Red Skull deck. Well, I mean, I can't do anything, can I? I should have planned better, but I didn't want to help him. Whatever. Captain Marvel? Yeah, that's... I don't know if Storm shows up in that often, though. I don't know. That looks like a Tuma. Oh, it's just Red Skull. Okay. Yeah, so we're going to ditch out of that. Now, in my experience, these decks don't usually have six-cost cards, right? Do they have six-cost cards? <laughs> Zola. <laughs> yeah, maybe a Zola. Yeah, she didn't float mana, so actually She-Hulk's not an impossibility. That's, a, that's an option. <sighs> I don't beat She-Hulk. If I had Heimdall, I would beat She-Hulk, though. Does she know that I have... Ugh, I, I could bluff snap here. Definitely not the infinite. She played a five. Maybe if we wait long enough, he'll retreat. Do it. See if he retreats. I don't think it's worth a bluff snap, guys. I think we play it out. Let's just see. Let's let's learn. Okay, she didn't have it. Victory. No, he did not. Escape. So that might be a clue for later that she doesn't run a She-Hulk, but it might just be a clue that she didn't have a She-Hulk in hand. So we don't really know. Hard to take away anything there. Okay. Nova Roma. Iron Fist, multiple man's pretty solid, yeah. That's fine. If we don't hit Human Torch, probably fine anyway. Do we... Oh, dang. Okay, interesting. Oh, wait, this is nice. Okay. Um, what if we try to somehow... I was going to ask if, if we multiple man into Doctor Strange, like put, put a multiple man here and here, and then Doctor Strange here to pull two multiple men in, but then we're like totally locked up left. I don't even think that's right. I think... I think we like Human Torch better in this case, don't we? Like, the little three bodies just aren't that compelling, I guess. Like, if I have Human Torch, I think I prefer to scale off Human Torch is basically my logic. I don't know for sure if that's accurate, but I feel like the punctuated stats of a singular threat seem more valuable against her tall threats, like Red Skull and stuff. Going wide with a bunch of threes doesn't seem as good to me as going tall with one big dude. That's that's my opinion anyway. Heimdall, so we can bail out of the, the Human Torch later if need be. Miles after Doctor Strange, that looks good. Gonna get a four power. Um, oh yeah, monster there's, wait, oh, oh no. Oh, oh my God, bro. Oh, I, I wish, I wish this said, oh, I forgot about the monster, bro. Why didn't that work? Oh! <gasps> oh my god, that was funny. I, I wish this said if it if from move your highest power cards from other locations, right? That's really how it should work anyway. Because you can't move a card that's you know what I mean? Like if I play it here, it should only look over here. You know what I mean? Like I, I think that's a, a lost opportunity on that card. I think it would be a lot more fun if not for that. And a lot more powerful too. Uh, yeah, we can play the Captain Marvel now. The Ironheart stats don't really matter anywhere in particular. Um, let's think about where this needs to go though. They're ahead a bunch right. I, I don't really want to be in right anyway, but that's fine for Captain Marvel because she can ditch out of right. I just need to make sure I leave enough space. So I'll probably play the Ironheart right as well and leave her at the end of the tail for Heimdall so that we can just dump her right where it doesn't matter anyway. Claw. Oh, that's cool. Okay. We haven't seen the claw yet. Okay, we have initiative now, which is nice. 
Oh, that means I can actually play um, zero into destroyer. Um, th there's there's definitely some argument. Well, why does Atuma glow whenever I play a card? Kind of weird. Maybe in case I have like a green goblin or something. Yeah, this new claw variant is sick, dude. I don't know if it's new, but I saw him post it on Twitter. The artist, it's so sick. It's really cool. Um, we can play Nightcrawler later if we need space, so let's just wait. Although, if we want to activate a Craven or something, we would play him now. Craven would still be activated by Heimdall. There is some logic to playing the Heimdall now to fill our mana next turn, but I think we value the surprise more than anything else, don't we? wonder if I should snap. snap. Let's just do it. Why not? I don't know, man, my board's gonna be too full. Oh god, she's snapping. Oh god, she's snapping. I feel like my board's gonna be too full for Heimdall to make an impact. Nah, I'll, I'll see how it feels. I don't know. Let's see how big she gets here. Oh god, two cards. Zero into... Oh, dang! That's too big! Confirmed! Uh, yeah, dead draw too. 16 here, actually... 19 here mid gets another plus 14 no space like captain marvel can't move in that case i mean she i guess she's never actually moving is she now that i think about it i mean technically this wins right against some stuff it just depends on how big of a card she might play in a given place like if she just dumps a red skull mid we lose you know just if she just passes we lose honestly seems too big he, if he plays Hemdall, he'll probably play it there. But he might... He might actually play Magneto, right? Molt won't replicate. Wait, why not? What do you mean? The first two move. He doesn't replicate? Okay, I don't think we have it anyway, but... Why wouldn't he replicate? Oh, oh, I think I've seen this before. I think you're right. If the, I think we ran into this last time we played it, where... Yeah, I think that's right. I think that's right. Um, if he doesn't have space, he doesn't replicate, right? Like the move processes before his his um, his multiplication processes, basically. That that sounds right. Okay, Monster Island again. It's probably gonna mess this up a little bit for um, Doctor Strange. Okay, don't make the same mistake, Regis. <laughs> With uh, Doctor Strange. We cannot seem to get locations that are useful at all. Uh, again, I'm a little nervous about the multiple man here. I really wish I had a uh, vulture instead. I feel like vulture would is what we need. Like uh, a human torch or vulture are where I think our real power spikes lie. She seems to benefit a ton from these Elysiums. This is the exact same two locations we got last game. Oh, again? Um, I'm nervous about these multiple mans. But my odds of hitting a useful card, it's really just two out of seven, so we might as well play these. Wish we could Ironheart them before moving them, but we can maybe still Ironheart them later, who knows? Wind. Storm, okay, so we need to dump some power right. She can't put in a Tuma there, but she can claw it later. Ah, oh, we did hit the Human Torch, that makes me a little sad. Okay, this is good. We can do this. And this, and then Professor X. Although he can play his um, Miles Morales if he has him. Maybe we put him in, because we can move out of him later. These two would move later. This is a lot of power I'm putting here, potentially. It may be too much. We've seen her splash like Lizard Titania in these scenarios though, so she can put a lot of power in the storm location, we know. Okay, we did not hit Human Torch, all right. So right now that's really susceptible to a claw, but she played a Tomb of Mid, so claw would need to be played with armor as well, which is a pretty big commitment. Man, that Ironheart just did not go where I wanted it to go at all. Really sad. <laughs> That's a really unfortunate iron art, I feel like. Um Okay. Okay, he's just really good at getting all of his cards. <laughs> um 
Um, okay, well, let's just do this then. And try to win middle. Oh, okay, cool. So our move is a little bit stranded here, but uh, are we just good? Oh, 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 wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. 13, oh, I, did, I thought we were ahead. Oh, dang it, I counted wrong. Oh, shoot, I don't have any way to add power there. No, we just lose. It said 11 to 10 for a second, I got confused, but Professor X hadn't counted yet. Uh, we're just in trouble, right? I don't know that we can get big enough here because she has so many big cards. Red skulls and stuff. Cloak is actually our biggest option. So we can play a cloak and try, but um could move a human torch over for four. It's a shame he didn't get hit, right? If he got hit by the iron heart, we could have moved him over for eight, maybe. That's the first time we saw the Professor X, by the way. Yeah, human torch is the biggest move that still keeps us ahead, right? We stay at nah eight, eight to seven. I go to 23, which is a 10 power advantage. Red Skull would not win, and Destroyer would not win in that case. But something like Red Skull, Titania, oh, Titania's already down. Red Skull Zero would win. Red Skull Sunspot, I think, would, like, tie. She could also move the Titania over, though. This is more stats. I don't know, man. Let's just do it. Right, like she could Red Skull move the Titania because we have Cloak. <sighs> Shoot. I could move Spider-Man theoretically for one additional power, but it still wouldn't beat Red Skull Titania. Yeah, I think we lose, honestly. <sighs> Maybe she doesn't have the Red Skull, though. I, I need to take a win here because our deck's just not very good against this matchup. This might be one of my better chances to win a game if she doesn't have Red Skull. So I'm going to stick it out just to see if we can't sneak a win here. I think we should have enough, right? Higher, further, faster, baby. Okay. Yes. That was very scary. <laughs> yeah. Dang. Higher, further, faster, baby. Yeah. Well, I think we just had to hope, you know, it was like Lizard or, you know, whatever other random garbage that didn't get there. I guess she would have retreated in that case, maybe, though, unless she's just calling my bluff. So, yeah. Good try. If uh, if that Iron Heart had hit the Human Torch, right, we would have had a chance. Oh, that's really good for us. Okay. Wait, that's actually really bad for me. That's nice for us. That's a good one. Yeah, we can go... Uh, actually, I'm trying to think about... We need, we need, if we hit a full cycle of, of, uh, move targets, in other words, Heimdall, Doctor Strange, etc., Cloak, where does the, the Human Torch needs to end up here, maybe? Although, I don't know, we can win Sanctum Sanctorum pretty freely with, like, an Iron Fist, so no, this is fine, I think. It's okay if the Human Torch ends up, like, right or mid, in other words, is the, is the notion here. <sighs> oh... God, this deck is so weak. Now, Nightcrawler might be a free win as well. This deck is so weak to... to location effects, man. A lot of this is kind of a waste on Heimdall moves, right? Shall I snap? I want to see that last location first. Because it could be something like move your cards here on turn 5 or something, you know? And that would be really annoying for me. Okay. Ah. Uh. That's awesome, but I <laughs> nothing can reveal. Like this is so stupid. I can't. I can't move anything there because nothing. I'm not even allowed to move this, right? I don't think. Oh my god, dude. Imagine if these were... Oh. This is so frustrating, dude. Nightcrawler right first, then you can use Cloak? How do you mean? I can move him there to get him buffed, but I, I think I want him to go to Sanctorum. Unless I think I can trust... I think you mean move here and then move him back, but... But what I'm saying... Uh, that doesn't, yeah, that works. Uh, but what I'm thinking is, I, I need... I need him to win Sanctum Sanctorum, so is the plus two even worth in it there, you know? Is there any relevance to that? Or would I rather just... 
win this for two and use Captain Marvel as an actual stat stick, you know? Like, I might need the stats off Marvel. Because you're basically saying, I'm going to use four to win a separate location instead of six, whereas Nightcrawler can win Sanctum for two, and then I can use the plus two from the six versus four in a in a in a better spot later. You know what I mean? I just want to tie down Professor Lock down Kunlun with Professor X. Right, he's gonna move the Nightcrawler. He's gonna move the Nightcrawler so he can play his Miles Morales. I could arguably even use like multiple man as well. I I, I think we just lose though. I mean, that uh, she's so much bigger than us from a stat standpoint. I just can't get big enough. Just just too much location screwing, you know. I mean, we're we're tiny. <laughs> we're tiny. This is maybe just an Atuma for the record. Or no, she played this on four and this on three, right? You got me talking about this weird line and I missed it. I, I forget which came down first. Oh god. <laughs> okay, bro. <laughs> Good luck, bro. Good luck, bro. Uh I guess we just destroy her. But we might still lose, honestly. Because of, um... The Nightcrawler. Five, eleven. I mean, maybe we have 17 power max, but I just want to end my suffering, man. Maybe we just high roll the crap out of this. <laughs> end my suffering. Oh no, it's the Cosmo. No, we weren't big enough anyway, but Cosmo definitely makes us not big enough. Higher Either of these weren't, weren't big enough, obviously. Only 14. Oh, this sucked, dude. Oh. We did it! Be fun! We did it. She says, probably not another. Okay, we split our series. Perfect. Hey. Yeah, hey, listen. I'm so sorry about the Shuri. <laughs> I told you no Shuri. I mean, it was like kind, kind of <laughs> off meta Shuri, right? But still, I felt really bad. It's fine. It wasn't really like the proper Shuri deck. But but still, it was hard when you get, you know, a giant stature or a black bolt. Yeah, it's uh, that that deck's actually pretty good. I think it's like a kind of sleep. It looks really good, honestly. Sleeper deck. Because I thought I thought I was like, this is amazing. My deck is so good against him because I have Wave, but I didn't realize that you also have She Hulk. So every game I had to guess: is he gonna play? Is he gonna play Black Bolt and Statue, or is he gonna soak and play um, She Hulk? Because if you play She Hulk, I can't play my Wave. So I was just doubting myself every single game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's uh, that's probably why it's so good. Is like it's hard to uh, hard to predict and control for you know. But uh, I found the deck on like Untapped. I don't I don't know who made it, but uh, it's been doing really well for me on on ladder as well. Oh, by the way, on game one, <laughs> I, I don't know if you remember on turn six, I just played a Moon Girl. Do you remember this? Uh, yeah, what happened I, there? I, I got distracted because I was memeing about feeling bad about the Shuri thing, and I thought we were on turn five. <laughs> so, oh, I do that all the time. Uh, even though I'd already played a Black Bolt, right? It should have been pretty obvious. I do that. Yeah, I do that all the time, especially when someone plays um, cards off curve. So if someone storms on turn four, I think it's still turn three, and then I get confused and like. I think turn six is turn five. Right, yeah. This was just me being an idiot with chat, but that happens to me too. Like anytime the game doesn't go in a predicted flow, your brain has to like reset. Like, wait a minute, wait, wait a minute, what turn is it? Yeah, so I'm going to look <laughs> stupid, but uh, thankfully we managed to recover after that. <laughs> I, I, I don't think you would look as stupid as, as when you played the... Um, <laughs> that that uh, Doctor Strange with the... The monster, oh, um, oh. Metropolis. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't have, you know, I mean, I, I, I didn't notice it. Yes, you're right, number one. But also, I, you know, I got to play stats anyway, so I didn't, I didn't have a lot of choices. I was, did, oh, you actually intended to play him Yeah, then. well, I, 
uh, no again i didn't actually I, again i wasn't really paying attention i didn't notice the monster was there that was the highest power unit but um i oh I, okay that uh, makes but sense. anyway i mean i could have moved the monster out but I, you know does that offer a lot of benefit i don't know maybe it would have yeah yeah actually it's probably best not to move him because i put armor there yeah so. I, I didn't really have a plan to be honest though <laughs> frankly <laughs> frankly the did you the move deck was just doing so bad did you play move because you felt bad because you played shuri the first well time. i didn't have a lot of lists to pull from it wasn't as much like i felt bad i thought it was actually good we had some good results of that deck on ladder so i didn't think i was like sandbagging you know i thought we were actually going to be competitive but i feel like the locations just made it so hard to do oh, the anything. locations were really bad yeah. multiple multiple mm. games i was just stuck on stuff to do and then your deck was just really high statted too so the move decks if you don't hit like a big vulture especially or a big uh, human torch you just can't get that tall it's like a bunch of little garbage you know so it's really hard to go toe-to-toe -to -toe. you didn't even play vulture exactly <laughs> he's in the deck did you not draw him i didn't see vulture i think at i got all. him like on dirt five or six or something at one point when it was too late so it, we didn't hit the power plays so between yeah you didn't play him at all because i look i'm looking at deck tracker and it's not showing vulture it's showing two cards still missing is it heimdall did you have heimdall uh yeah did we never play a heimdall against you no you didn't oh my god i did <laughs> <laughs> we did i never realized we um well you, you remember like we had the, like the space throne game i i didn't draw him that game when with plunder castle out i think it was so i didn't get to play him then uh there was some yeah. other reason i uh i i was about to and I, we had to retreat because we just didn't have the numbers or something so i had him a few times but we never i guess we never actually realized the heimdall again i i felt like we were just location uh. screwed multiple times so yeah that... definitely locations are so bad for move decks yeah it's one of the weaknesses and also oh i was gonna say something but i forgot oh, i'm sorry i'm sorry <laughs> um no 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 actually oh yeah i thought that maybe you have magneto and i was so scared that you're gonna pull my atuma out oh that would have been sick yeah to pull your atuma into a location where he died i know i was really scared Oh, you made one super heads up play, crazy strong storm uh, into that uh, that Bifrost. Like, oh, that screwed me so hard. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was like, I can't believe that actually turned into Bifrost for his move deck. Like, nah, that's not happening. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just change it. You're not getting those extra stuff. Yeah, and it locked me out because I committed a full four, four cards there. So I yeah, was just yeah. completely <laughs> screwed. So the one time I got a location that helped, you actually ruined it. <laughs> was... I know. I was holding on to that storm. I was like, I'm going to wait what that turns into before I play my storm. And I'm glad I did. Yeah, that was super sick. Uh, chat was like, oh my God, she's a genius. I was like, oh, <laughs> I was like, she sucks. <laughs> she's too good. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I, I really thought we'd fare better, but that really showcased, I think, the weaknesses of move, like super susceptible to locations and, and, oh, and sometimes draw RNG as well. <sighs> and, um, but the, your first deck was so much fun. I really like it. I might actually buy Stature. She seems a lot of fun. Yeah, she's in that same, like, you know, she's kind of like a, almost like a better Titania sometimes, you know, just splashing that final turn, crazy one drop power. Mm -hmm. Feels really good to yeah. do that sometimes. But yeah, I, I I liked it. I liked that deck a lot. Yeah, what? Minus the Shuri that you said you're not gonna play. Y yeah, but we don't you talk played about Red Skull that. though. I said no Shuri Red Skull, so we're even. <laughs> I what? Didn't, Red Skull doesn't I, count without Shuri. I didn't say Shuri and Red Skull together, so you know I'm counting that. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, that doesn't count. <laughs> Red Skull without Shuri is no, is no. I did not cheat. No, he's fair. I definitely cheated. I'm gonna it, tr trust me. <laughs> I spent the whole first game talking about it, so you're gonna have uh, in my video, and if you do one too, you're gonna have plenty of me feeling guilty. I was like, oh, I'm such a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's fine. Don't worry about it. It popped up in my yeah, first it was, hand. It was fun to play against that deck. I never get to face that deck anyway. Well, hey, I don't want to keep <laughs> you too late. I know it's getting late there. It was, those were really fun games. Thanks for playing. Everybody check out uh, Nina. I dropped your like link in my uh, title and stuff, and I'll I'll be sure to link you up yeah. in the YouTube video too. So, Thank you for reaching out. I had a lot of fun. Yeah. And uh, good games. Yep. Good chat. Thank you. GG's. Bye. See ya. Thank you. GG's.